In today's video I will show you how to run several desktop environments with hardware acceleration. I will show you the commands to run any desktop, but you need to try in your favorite one so you can see if it is possible to run it with hardware acceleration or not. So let's start with the video. The first thing to do is go into my repository and we are going to follow the steps for hardware acceleration. I recommend you taking a look to the two videos I have already in the channel, just to have more information on the topic, but we are going to go straight to the commands. We are going to copy the first one to start the graphical server, so just copy this command and go to Termux and paste it. I'm going to use two sessions, so if you drag from the left part, you can open a new session, and here I'm going to start the graphical server. I will remove the ampersand at the end of the line so we don't have this in background and we can control C and stop this server when we want. So let's execute this command and then we're going to the other tab so we can start here the graphical session, the desktop environment. For this test I have the Debian peer root environment but with a lot of desktop so I'm going to do several tests. The first thing is modify the start script so we are going to use the command to run any program with hardware acceleration. So let's copy this part, but without the program word, and we are going to modify the start script so we can run the desktop with hardware acceleration. Let's edit my start script, in this case for KDE with the nano command. We are going to this line and we are going to paste the command we have copied from my repository. Check that everything is fine and we have the proper spaces between the words. Control O, Control X to save and exit and now execute the start script. In this case, I found that KDE Plasma cannot run with hardware acceleration. After a while, you will see this error message, and although you close this message, KDE Plasma won't start. So I did another test, in this case modifying the initialization server, because we have two options. So let's stop the graphical environment, and let's go to the other tab to close and stop the graphical server. Let's Ctrl C to stop the graphical server, and in my repository you will find another option to start the graphical server, which is this one you are seeing right now. Let's copy the command without the ampersand at the end, so we can stop the server when we want, and let's copy it into Thermux. After this, I will run again the graphical environment with the start script without any modification, and I will see the same error message. So sadly, for KDE Plasma with Debian, I wasn't able to run it with hardware acceleration, but I will show you now the process for XFC4 that I was able to run it and it runs pretty well. So the first thing is initialize the graphical server, and now we are going to modify the start script with the command to run the desktop environment with hardware acceleration. So let's again to my repository, and we are going to copy the same command as before. This is the command to run any program with hardware acceleration, so we are going to run the start xfc4 command with this part. So just modify the script, Control o and Control x to save and exit, and we are going to start the desktop. Now you can see that we were able to run it well. If you go to the about xfc4, we can see that in GPU we have Virgil. And now I will show you a problem I have with this graphical server. If you run glmart2, you should see the GPU, but I have this error. This is because I initialized the graphical server with one of the two commands. Later in the video, I will use the other one and everything will work fine. I also check if Chromium was detecting the GPU, but sadly it is not detecting it. So probably it's better to run Chromium with the proper command instead of just executing the whole environment with graphical acceleration and try to run Chromium in it. But in Firefox, I will show you that the GPU is detected. So the first thing to do is enabling WebGL support on Firefox. So for that, I will go to the WebGL Aquarium and I will show you the error message that you will have. To fix this, you can follow the steps I left in my repository. If you go down until you can see the WebGL Aquarium test, you can click in this link and follow the steps. The page is in Spanish, so I will show you the steps, but they are pretty straightforward. So go down a little bit, and in Firefox, let's go to about two points config. Here, accept the risk, and now we are going to look for the WebGL configuration. You can copy this line, and we are going to paste it into Firefox. Here you will see that in the first entry we have false, so we need to change it to true, just clicking in the button. After that, everything is fine, you can close Firefox and restart it. We need to restart the browser because if not, the changes won't be applied. Now, after we open Firefox again, let's go to the WebGL Aquarium. 
and we will see the FPS on the test. The problem I found here is that everything was fine and I have 20 FPS so the GPU is detected but the page is blinking in blue. Anyway, this is not happening in other pages so I won't be worried. Now I want to show you how is the performance in YouTube because I think GPU acceleration doesn't affect that much to YouTube but you can see that for example in my case I have a video from the channel, the last Python video and I have changed the resolution to Full HD. The video loads fine and you can see it fine but it seems a bit laggy. I feel like instead of 30 FPS probably this is around 20 so it's not the best experience although you can watch any video at Full HD. Now I will show you how is the performance when we use the other graphical server. So let's close everything and let's go to the other tab where, where we have our graphical server. Let's control C to stop this and we are going to copy from my repository the other graphical start command, the longest one. Here you can just copy this command and paste it into Thermos. Remember to remove the ampersand at the end of the line. So we can stop the server when we want with the Ctrl C command instead of trying to look for the PID of the process and kill it. Anyway, let's start the XFC desktop again. Without any modification, you can see that the command is exactly the same with the Gallium driver, Mesa GL version, etc. So let's run the start script. Now when Thermux X11 opens, let's go again to the about XFC4 and we can see that we have the same result as before with the bigger part. Now if we try to run GLMart2, we will see that we are able to run it. And if we see the GPU information, we can see that we are running with Think. Now let's go to Firefox and run the WebGL test. And although this is contraintuitive, the GPU is detected because without the GPU I have like 10 FPS. With the GPU detected, I was having 3 or 4. I think this is because some compatibility issues between the graphical server and Firefox. But anyway, if you go to YouTube, you can see that the performance is basically the same. And this is because some tags are not depending on the GPU. In this example, I'm watching YouTube at full HD resolution. And you can see that you can skip to different parts of the video without any problems. Now, Chromium is not detecting the GPU as before and now I want to show you what happens if you try to run a program like Firefox with the command to run it with turnip drivers while at the same time we're running the desktop with Think. Remember that to run something with turnip you need to install the drivers and you can check it in the other videos about hardware acceleration. Now you can see that this seems to be running fine but sadly it crashes on the application it stops. And also if we run GLMAR2, we can see that the GPU information is Think and is, it is not Tarnip. Probably this is because if we are using Think, we cannot use Tarnip at the same time, but I'm not sure. So now I will show you how to run everything with Tarnip drivers and what happens. So let's modify the start script. We are going to modify the command to run it with hardware acceleration. So remove everything. And let's copy from the repository the command to run things with Tarnip. Let's go to the hardware acceleration part, let's go to Tarnip, and we can see that the command is a bit different. So let's copy everything, except the last word, and let's paste it into Thermus. So now we are going to run the start XFC command with Tarnip. Just Ctrl O and Ctrl X to save and exit, and execute the start script. So after Thermux X11 opens, we can see that we don't have the bottom panel and we don't have the top menu. Also, if you open any application like the File Explorer, you can see that there is no buttons to close and minimize, for example. This is a bug related to executing the desktop environment with Tarnip. Also, if you open the terminal and you run GLMAR2, you can see that the GPU is detected as LLVM pipe. This is the CPU. So it seems that with Tarnip, it is not possible to run the desktop. I hope you liked the video and don't forget to share, like and subscribe and also leave it in the comments if you run any desktop with graphical acceleration.